Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler. This week I have another quick and easy DIY video for you guys. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make some PVC rod holders for bank fishing. They are extremely durable, they don't cost much money, and they don't take very long to build. So guys stick around, let's get started here on this project. Alright folks, there's not a whole lot of materials needed for today's project. What we are going to have to have is some inch and a half PVC pipe, a couple of inch and a half PVC caps, some PVC cement, some 5 16 all thread, 5 16 acorn nut, and a 5 16 nylon lock nut. So let's go ahead and take a trip to the local hardware store. We'll pick those up, we'll come back, and we'll get these rod holders put together. Alright guys, the first part of this project we're going to need to get our rod holder tube actually cut to size. Now this is a two foot section of inch and a half PVC. So I'm going to get the saw out, we'll get this cut in half, and uh, guys that's about the biggest part of the project. The rest of it we'll be able to put together in no time right here on the workbench. So let me get the saw, we'll get this cut. Alright, we got our laser lined up at the 12 inch mark. Let's go ahead and cut our face. inch. There's our two rod holders. Alright folks, the next step in this process is to go ahead and get our holes drilled in our caps. Now I'm using 5 16 inch all thread, so we're going to be drilling a 5 16 inch hole. I've got my automatic center punch here, and we're going to go ahead and make us a center punch mark. In each one of these and we'll start drilling our hole. All right let's go ahead and get our hole drilled. There's one and the other. Alright, before we cement this PVC together, I like to go ahead and get the all thread taken care of. Now this step's optional, but I'm going to go ahead and take care of this. I'm just going to put me a little bit of red Loctite on the top of here. And we're just going to bottom that acorn nut out onto that all thread. Same thing with this one here. We'll put us a little bit of thread sealant on there. And guys, you don't have to put that sealant, but I had it here handy and thought it might help out a little bit. So I didn't put it on the last set. We're going to put it on these. Now, 
There's our difficult part. Drop that all thread right through the center of that cap. Now we're going to get us a couple of these nylock nuts. Get them started on the other side of the all thread here. Another, and we'll go ahead and get these tightened down. Yes, I know it's cheating. one. Let's get the other one started here. I know, I'm cheating. I could have done this by hand. Alright, now we've got those cinched down a little bit with the drill. We'll just go ahead and put the finishing touches on there. This one's tight. There's our other one. There we go. Those are ready. We'll set everything aside. And let's get these assembled. Alright, the last step is to go ahead and attach these caps to the PVC rod holders. And to do that we're going to be using the OD Purple Primer and regular clear PVC cement. First thing we'll do here, knock a little bit of that off. I put me down some shop towels to keep from turning my workbench purple. We'll give that a little bit of primer. Give the cap a little bit of primer. Now we're going to take our cement. Give that a quick wipe on the cement. We'll fit the two together. Give it just a bit of a twist. And we'll let that set up. That's only going to take a minute or two to set up. Let's get the next one done. I said, a little bit of primer. A bit of primer. A little bit of PVC cement. Just slide them together. Give it a small turn. Things good. And while that's still liquid, we'll go ahead and knock some of that primer off there. You're not going to get all that. It stains pretty quickly once you get it on there. But there they are. And we are done with this project. Well folks, there you have it. That's how easy it is to put together a set of these PVC rod holders. They're quick. They don't cost much money to build. And this is a project you could do on a weekend or an evening. And uh, when you're done, you have some nice quality rod holders for bank fishing. Guys, these store great in a five gallon bucket. Makes them easy to cart down to the water's edge. And I haven't had one break yet. And I've had some of these in service now for a little over two years. Well folks, as always, thank you for watching my videos. Like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. If you're on a mobile device, hit that little bell. It's located on the right-hand corner of your screen. and That'll let you know anytime I post a new video or go live. Guys, I hope I've helped you out with this project. I hope you saw just how easy it is to build these. You're going to end up with a quality set of rod holders, and it's not going to cost you a lot of money to get them. So, guys, take care. We'll catch you out on the water. I appreciate you watching the weekend angle.